Hello, and welcome to Dare to Think. I'm your host, Gene St. Croix. Uh, this year, we've already had two uh, recordings. We talked about resolutions. We talked about what is success. Tonight, or today, I will talk about words, the power of words. Now, sometime, you may have a key. Keys open doors. You may have a key. But if you don't know which door, and if you don't know how to utilize it, it's just a useless item. So the main thing is to know how to use the key and which door to apply the key to. Now we all, we all have this key. The key, which is the spoken words. Now for those of you who read the Bible, it says in John 1st verses, John 1st verses 1, it says, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So this is a key, this is a key statement here. The Word was God. So with the Word, a lot can happen. The whole world was created with just the Word. And you have this gift, you have this ability, we all have it. Unless you mute. But if you can speak, you have this gift. You have this gift is how you utilize it to make it work in your benefit. Words can be used for blessing. Words can be used for cursing. Words can be used to create. Words can be used to destroy. Words can be used to cast spells. Words can be used to elevate. Words can be used for almost anything that you want in this life. It's all a matter. It's it's a matter of uh, using those words. A matter of using those words appropriately and in the right condition. Now, before we finish with this session, I will talk about three tips that would prob probably help you for the year of 2022. Three tips to use your words efficiently. Now, understanding how to use the words to your benefit is not as simple as it sounds, but it could be. If you want to be mindful you want to be mindful with your tongue. You want to be mindful with your thoughts. It's possible. Now they said that in a day, we have from 12,000 to 60,000 thoughts. Now your subconscious doesn't record all your thoughts. But the one that you uttered, the one that you put words, the one that you express into words, those your subconscious record. Now, whether they are good or bad, your subconscious will do the best it can to make whatever it is that you put into words. It will try to make it become a reality. 
So you got to be mindful of your words. Now, in reality, nothing is stopping you from becoming. See, believe it or not, you are creating the world that you want to live in. Believe it or not, you are creating your future. And your words, they play a big part of creating that future. Now you can take all you want, but when you put them into words, it manifests. So you have to be careful. Now, let's go into those three tips that I mentioned. For this year, 2022, you can use those three tips to help you use your words efficiently. Now, the first one, the first one, for whatever you put I am in, if you're talking about yourself, you say I am, you should never put I am or accompany I am with anything negative. Because if you remember, if you read your Bible in Exodus 3, 14, it says, when Moses asked God, when I go to Pharaoh, who should I tell him sent me? And he said, I am that I am. So I am is also a name of God. So whenever you use I am, you have to accompany that with something that is positive. Don't ever say I am with the negative words behind it. It has to be positive always. The second thing is, when you talk about orders, you got to use the same principle. You got to be positive about what you say about other people. Because like I said earlier, a word can be used as a blessing. A word can be used as a curse. A word can be used to destroy. A word can be used to elevate. So sometimes the things you say about others, they reflect, they reflect back on you. So it's important that you keep your communication always positive. Now the third one is you have to be mindful. Mindful of how you're using your words. If you can reduce your words, it's not that easy to just cut your wor words in half. But if you practice every day to reduce your words, talk less, speak more efficiently. Because the more you talk, the more you can get yourself in trouble. The more you can say things that you, you didn't want to say. So practice to reduce your words every day. With these three tips, if you apply them, you will use your word more efficiently. Now they said, knowledge is the application of information. If I tell you something, either you agree with it or not, it's still information. But if you apply it into your life, it becomes knowledge. And from knowledge, you gain wisdom. So use your word efficiently. The words was the instrument God used to create this whole universe. Use your word in a way to create your own world. Your word is the only magic that you need to practice and master. Your word is the only thing that you are in control of. If you have 
complete control of your mind, complete control of your thoughts, then you will have complete control of your words. Use your word efficiently and use your word in the benefit of yourself and all those around you. It was fun on Dare to Think. I'm your host, Gene St. Croix. Now, don't forget to subscribe. We'll talk again.